Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I'll talk to everybody about camera straps and which ones I recommend. So let's get, and get to this. Okay, everyone. Well, we all have these straps, the nice Canon or Nikon ones that come with our cameras and stuff when we buy them. And they're all real nice looking and everything. And who doesn't want to wear your camera strap when you have their logo and stuff on it, the camera brand that they like? You know, it's kind of like a piece of memorial or trophy. You know, everybody enjoys those. But unfortunately, they're not very comfortable. Now, if you got a small camera, you know, with a small lens and stuff on it, if you're just using, like, say, 30, 40 minutes at a time, maybe an hour, if you're not shooting that much, you know, one of these straps, is, you know, it's fine. It ain't all that. You know, it ain't going to hurt you too bad. But if you go walking around town and stuff, you know, for, like, hours on end or go hiking and stuff you know one of these straps can get actually put a lot of stress on your neck and shoulders and actually cause you know some pain and stuff and even if you're using like one of canon's entry-level dslrs like the rebels and stuff you know like even like a lens that's not really that heavy like the 10 to 22 uh you know efs lenses you know it start to add up after a couple hours so I wanted to show y'all some straps that I recommend, and one of these is the Black Rapid RS7. Now, I even have an RS4, but they don't sell any more of those, which is really a shame because I got one that's got a nice EOS, you know, embroidered on the side of it. But this is the RS7. This is your mainstay Black Rapid, Black, excuse me, Black Rapid strap, and I really enjoy these. And there's a lot of nice features about these. One thing I like about it is it doesn't go around your neck. You actually, let's see if I get it the right direction, you actually go over your shoulder. So it saddles on your shoulder and everything really nice right here, which is really great. Because even if you really got a really heavy camera, the load is displaced over an area that doesn't hurt to actually tote this thing around. Which is one of the real good features. Another is, uh, if you go into an area that the camera could get stolen, they're not jerking this off of you because it has to go around your arms and your neck for them to actually pull it off unless they hold you at gunpoint or something, you know, weird. But just nobody's going to just snatch it off of you. And there's buckles and stuff right here. I guess it's called buckle. This actually goes into the uh, bottom of your camera and screws it in where your tripod mount would go. And it's all metal construction. Even the nice little clip here. Is all metal. This is not aluminum. This is you know metal, steel type stuff. It's got this little bolt type action thing. You screw it up on there, and make sure it doesn't come undone whatsoever. And so this is all very well heavy construction right here. Like it's ballistic nylons. The construction made out of it. Nice padding and stuff. Of course, it's not a review about this strap. It's just I really like this strap a lot. And what, one reason I like it is because even about uh, heavier DSLRs and stuff on there. You could easily put one of these uh, straps on and be able to tote, you know, quite a heavy DSLR with a heavy lens and it not stress your body out. So you're not aching after hours of going hiking and stuff, toting these things around. So that's the reason I really like the RS7. Now, Black Rapid also has, you know, quite a few other straps and stuff. Now, I've got a Amazon affiliate link down the bottom. It goes to wish list of all the different type of straps I really recommend and explaining, you know, in detail and comments and stuff about them. So if you want to check those out, you know, please do check it out down at the bottom. But uh, like I said, they got other versions. They got a kick version that actually has a twist in it right here, which is good for the I guess, physique of a woman. They make it more comfortable for them to wear. Uh, but there's also others. Now, uh, Cotton Carrier actually has some that I really like too. Now, unfortunately, Black Rapid doesn't have one like this, but Cotton Care, so you know I'm not just talking about Black Rapid here. I'm actually talking about other, other straps. Actually has one with DSLR can hold here on the front and on, on the side, which is really, really great if you want to you know, have dual DSLRs. And it's really great if you're uh, out hiking because, you know, not always do you want the DSLR you know, off to your side, but having one here in front and one off to the side lets you be able to get to either which one of them. That way you can pick one up here or pull the other one around. That way you have two uh, cameras, which is really helpful for wildlife people or people actually shooting weddings and stuff, which can be pretty wild too at times, I've heard. But <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of uh, camera straps that get out there. I really like the Black Rapids, so 
them. The cotton carriers got like I said some really good straps. And depending on what you want, depending on the needs, they have everything from like uh, dual straps. They have ones with the uh, straps that go under your arm to actually hold it more. Now I'm actually a pretty large person, uh, not too huge large, but basic camera strap still has plenty of slack left to in with me. So if you're you know, a person that goes to the gym a lot or somebody that sits around the computer too much, you know you don't have to worry about getting no extension or anything for these. They're quite nice, and I really enjoy them. And as much as my my 70D strap here looks really nice, my dearly departed 70D, you know. I, there's no way I would wear this, you know, because it just really hurts your neck way too much. You know, even with a lens like, say, the my 18 to 35 art lens on my 70D, oh no, <laughs> yeah, it, it would hurt. You'd, you'd be dying after an hour, at least in my opinion and my experience and stuff. So, I thought I'd point out uh, there are some really good straps that you know a lot of them I do recommend, like the Black Rapids. You know. I really am a fan of the shoulder strap so that go around your side. I do recommend getting a quality shoulder strap. You know, if you got a camera and you got like anywhere from a thousand dollar investment, even up to like four, five, six, ten thousand dollar investment, you know, why trust it to a cheap twenty dollar strap? You know, even like the RS7, I think it's around fifty bucks or so. Uh, I forget the exact price. That's a good investment. At least you know your camera is safe on those straps. And that's one reason I really like them. But if you're not really into one like that big, because you may have a smaller camera, they have other ones, much smaller one that I've actually seen that kind of like. And they come in different designs or different colors, I can say. It's just got like a rubber strap around it. But you know you got the black rapid quality and your camera's safe. So if you got like something like a, a Sony A7 or A6000, you know, a much lighter uh, mirrorless camera, then you can get a smaller strap and still support it quite well. But thought I'd point that out. Uh, if anybody was interested in these straps, like I said, please check out my Amazon affiliate link down the bottom. And if you do happen to purchase any through the affiliate link, uh, and it helps support the channel, and it's free to you and helps helps me out. So I hope that everybody likes this information. If you do, how about a thumbs up for the video? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you know, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and lets you know when I release more videos. And until next time, everyone, you know, thank you for watching.